Hey guys, Oyster here. Don't bubble man, for the Rackman no kind of sense he knows that most is the challenge. He looks a good bit different, like you guys' buoyancy problem fixed. And he can walk and attack and move underwater correctly. Yes, he can. He's a fucking harder than this. Music is from the King of Fighters at 96. It's the Go In It theme. Yes, I had to look that up. Um, no way in hell I would have known that offhand. The only King of Fighters I played was 98, and I wasn't too impressed with it, so I didn't play any of the other ones. Um, yeah. Although I do like 2D Fighters. I am a fan of 2D Fighters. I just didn't like uh, King of Fighters. Probably because I had like seen all the characters used in other places. It was stupid. It, it, it wasn't executed as well as Marvel vs. Capcom, I'm saying. Uh, and this is where the game really starts getting hard. And it starts throwing out loopy shit like this guy riding across the top of the water. What the fuck? I mean, I suppose he could have him riding in the middle of the air. Whatever, he just needs a point to ride on. But still, weird. Free life, not that I need it. I have eight lives now. I just took that path mainly because it's easier, you know? This is where shit starts going bananas, if you will. Just get hit by him and run. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is where all those, uh, energy tanks come in handy. This level. <laughs> oh! God, fuck you! I need to get out Wind Slicer? Jesus. Might have to get out Wind Slicer. Alright. Uh, oh. Okay, free life there, with squirms coming at me. And I got the free life, and now I have nine lives, and I'm not dying, so why did I do that? I don't know. I must say the music is very fitting for the area, though. This is where you start, first start experiencing what under, or under, what 13F Cali called in his thread, Underwater Wind. It's called Current People. This is also where the game starts getting extremely hard. Because the wind stops here, and then you go careening into the edge, and what the fuck. Seriously. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Sniper Joe is gonna get proto-charged to death. Come here. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. I can't believe I jumped that. Ha! I win. M445, distant cousin of CWU-OMP, the gigantic ass uh, bubble robot from Mega Man 1. Yeah, when Slicer slices him to bits. Thank Yeah, Fuck me. Alright, uh, go up one slicer. You weren't so goddamn unpredictable. No! Jesus! Proto charge, proto charge, proto charge. Come to me. Alright. Oh god, so many M445s. Jump! Yeah! Alright. And we will be using Crush Man's Weapon. I don't even remember what it's called. Babudingu Ban. Something like that. No idea what it's supposed to mean. Um, Katakana maybe it didn't come from English. Maybe it came from German or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe that's why I didn't recognize it. And the, the Bubble Man's dead without needing an energy tank. Wow. Awesome. I am cool with that. And we got the spin wheel from Mega Man X2. I'm serious. Except it doesn't actually go along the ground and spin. It bounces. But yeah, it's the spin wheel from Mega Man X2. Uh, wheel gators. Um, anyway, that's Bubble Man, and next time we'll be taking on Metal Man. Later, guys.